Well, thank you very much for uh, joining us on our educational YouTube channel. We look at uh, chapter 6 in the unit of uh, media and communications policy. This chapter 6 will start with public affairs reporting. The reportorial tools have been replaced with slim, fast and versatile digital tools. The challenges of computer-associated live news reporting, appropriate terminologies, precision and transparency in reporting and publishing of news items electronically are the challenges a public affairs reporter must tackle every day while they are on the beat. The following are the ways in which public affairs reporting shapes a life of journalists. Public affairs reporting helps to improve on the writing skills through discussion of story proposals, class critiques of individual papers, among others. Public affairs reporting helps to emphasize on story structures, how you move from a basic idea to an outline and into a well-organized and presentable piece of production. It helps a journalist to inform the public and also act as a watchdog for the government. A democracy considers this function vital to maintaining a balance of power, which is why media are sometimes called the fourth estate. Public affairs reporting helps journalists to identify pieces of important resources and community leaders who have impact on society. Public affairs reporting teaches journalists how to make important news interesting, important news in typically local, state, and federal governments. Further, media manipulation involves utilizing staff news specialists, self-serving handouts, programmed appearance, and pos positive a negative reinforcement in dealing with reporters and new media. If is often used as a powerful task to manipulate masses through modern technology. Media manipulation currently shapes everything you read, hear, and watch online. In those days, we had only few threats to fear when it came to media. Media manipulation, government propagandists, and hustling publicists, they exploited the fact that the media was trusted and reliable. Well, uh, thank you for following us on our YouTube channel. Just in case you're new here, you can subscribe to our channel. I know for those who are interested in pursuing a bachelor's degree, the educational material that we share here will be of value in your day-to-day -day learning. And remember, if you're a practitioner and you also visit this channel, uh, we refresh your mind again on how things are done, the practical manner. So subscribe, share with colleagues, and I know this will be good for both of us. I'll shift now to talk about socialization. Socialization is the transmission of culture. Media are the reflectors of society. They socialize people, especially children and newcomers. Socialization is a process by which people are made to behave in a way that is acceptable in their culture or that particular society. Through this process, we learn how to become a member of a human society in a greater sense. Whenever a person reads a newspaper or watches television, individuals know how people react to matters and what type of norms and values they perceive in particular events, issue, or situation. 
Through the process of uh, socialization, media helps to shape our behavior, conduct, attitude and beliefs. The, the process of socialization brings people closer and ties them into a single unit. Like media stations receive info and listeners send dedications to their followers. Manipulation. This refers to the act of creating an image or argument on image or argument that favors their particular interest. It includes the use of logical uh, flaccacies and propaganda techniques, suppress, suppression of information or points of view by pushing them out of the mind. By making a group of people stop listening to certain information or creating diversionary messages that would divert them from what is currently trending to uh, have something which will preoccupy their mind as an idea replacement. Public affairs reporting helps journalists to find a broad tentative engaged audience. Journalism must be timely, direct, honest and powerful. This emphasizes journalists to have the skills necessary to produce such compiling stories. Public affairs reporting helps journalists be informed about leadership or their communities and the political structure and its responsibility. Public affairs reporting helps to know how we choose and settle on public policies and evaluating government performance. The capacity building for media houses and reporters as well as practi practical training on ICT use or enrichment with ICT has not been very easy for journalists. Public affairs reporters are viewed differently and people do not act normally around them and start looking for hidden cameras. They also lack protection and are even attacked and their equipment many times destroyed. Nature and importance of the story is another challenge. A story might be seen important to the journalist but may turn out to be irrelevant to the greater pop uh, population. Credibility of the media house, the reporter can also affect how the masses take up public affairs story. If it is not ordinary story, even if it carries a fair story, it will be seen as witch hunting. The official secret acts also put a lead on the abilities of public affairs reporting. Some of uh, the information is important to the nation, but once it becomes an official secret, it is regarded as threat to national security and any journalist who gets hands on, on it risks imprisonment. Lack of witness protection policy in the country makes it harder for media practitioners, especially journalists, to access information. They are forced to hide the face of witnesses which makes the story incredible. And due to poor economy, media houses do not employ enough personnel, so there is little or no specialization at all. This means that a journalist carrying out public affairs story is supposed to carry out some other stories as well. Well, uh, allow me to discuss briefly about public affairs uh, reporting and public relation issues. Public relations refer to a planned and sustainable effort to establish and maintain goodwill and mutual understanding between an organization and the public. Every company, whether government or private, needs to deal with regulatory and policy environment in the country of its operation. The laws of the land dictate in many ways the business model which with the aim 
and its long term sustainability below is how uh, public affairs reporting as a public relations issue public relation is a vital part of maintaining the organization's image and co and uh, of communicate communication of messages to its clients investors and the general public public affairs reporting promotes awareness about a given product or service to the general public thereby executing public relations duties public affairs reporting promotes information or any update concerning new products on the market hence being a public relation it creates relationship between the country and its consumer through networking and leading resources for public affairs it also serves the public interest through providing information about the country's product Public affairs reporting increases the country's sale directly and through providing news about the company's produ pro, uh, products. It also acts as uh, an advertising agent for the company since it makes the company known before the public. It also aids in marketing for the company and recruiting purposes and can lead to improved quality of products.